Can democratically elected governments impose the kind of austerity being demanded in Europe and hope to stay in power? Well, elections in Greece this weekend may hold the answer. With the country in dire financial straits and voters angry with more cuts, the two main parties in the governing coalition may be booted out. Our Europe correspondent Matthew Price has been exploring the mood of Greece. The Peloponnese where the gods of Greek myth and legend once played. And where today we found Michalis Angolopoulos desperately hoping for better times after five years of recession and continuing government cuts. Do you think Greece should carry on cutting in the way that Brussels is asking? They have to stop, he told me. There'll be trouble. People don't have any more to give. Despite the very obvious beauty here, there are dark storm clouds on the horizon. A large number of people are expected to vote for parties that want to turn their back on the Brussels-imposed austerity. And if that does happen, there are those who fear this country could be charting a very different course, one that takes it out of the euro, with all the massive implications for this continent that that would bring. Wind your way around this country and you find exhaustion. Greece is defeated, crumbling, and that's changing politics. The same old faces have governed here for decades. In the local council, they know the two main parties who pushed through the cuts are now losing support. But the new mayor, an independent, doesn't believe anyone has the vision to save his country. Now the plan is to, uh, to win the elections. Uh, is the plan for uh, 15 days. We want uh, a plan for uh, the next 15 years. And, and we don't have anything like this. What they need is growth. But the orange groves are about the only place you'll find that right now. For some voters, the only option is for the next government to renegotiate Greece's bailout with Europe's leaders. We have to say to them we don't have the money to pay. I think they will understand. But uh, in the end, if they don't believe us, I think we have to leave the euro. Which direction will Greece take? Like much of Europe, there is a growing sense that austerity is making things worse. There may not be calm for much longer. Matthew Price, BBC News, in the Peloponnese.